Hello, and welcome to TMC's role-based demo series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the usage of the Business Central features for specific roles within your organization. If you can't find a demo for your work position, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going over Dynamics 365 Business Central for the Marketing Manager. In this video, you'll find out a few ways your Dynamics 365 Business Central system can be used by your marketing manager. My name is John Hoyt, and I'm the Solution Consultant for Technology Management Concepts. Let's get started. Marketing managers have their own unique concerns, and Dynamics 365 Business Central provides the depth and clarity of vision that they need. In this video, I'll show you how to create a campaign, select your target audience, initiate the campaign, and track that campaign. Let's assume the marketing team begins any campaign or product launch through research and investigation of the business, company personnel, and company success and failures. This is essential before investing in any campaign or promo or the launch of a new product. Using integrated tools from Dynamics 365 plus Teams and SharePoint provides the marketing manager with a wealth of information to make good decisions for the business. When logged into Dynamics 365 Business Central, the marketing manager leverages other Microsoft Cloud apps to complete their job. With a single click, the manager can toggle between those applications. Recently, the organization has begun leveraging Microsoft Teams to collaborate and share ideas, files, etc. Microsoft Teams is a hub for teamwork. All your content, tools, people, and conversations are available in the Teams workspace. With Teams dedicated for the corporation, for marketing, operations, sales, each team or department can better collaborate with internal and external team members. The documents and files embedded in conversations are a natural part of the organization. This file, the campaign details, was uploaded to the file library by way of Dynamics 365 Business Central. This is a current detailed view of the campaign. And close the viewer. We can see any additional files associated with this campaign. Just click to open those additional files. Additional reports from Dynamics 365 Business Central have been shared in Microsoft Teams. This removes any of the traditional barriers of sharing information to team members who can use the information to make better decisions. In this top 20 inventory list, the top 20 inventory items sold so far are displayed. Intrigued by the trends shown here, the marketing manager can begin a conversation with the other team members. They begin typing into the message box and then post their comment. Collaboration has now begun. If you click the ellipsis, you can select the library of SharePoint and see the files that are also available there. Embedded OneNote notebooks provide additional avenues to collaborate and conduct additional research. With those conversations, documents, and notes all completed, we can return to Dynamics 365 Business Central. With the security credentials, the marketing manager does not need to log in to their other Microsoft Cloud apps. Just click Dynamics 365, and we're now back in Business Central. Let's create our new campaign. From the marketing manager's homepage, a new campaign is just a click away. Enter a description for your new campaign. The next campaign number is automatically assigned. 
Next, we'll define the status code for the campaign. While not a required field, tracking the status of any, all campaigns helps the marketing manager remain organized and productive with which campaigns are planned, started, or completed. Enter start and end dates for the campaign. Initiating a campaign is simple and requires just a few clicks. We're all done here. Now we need to identify the target audience for this campaign. The marketing manager creates a segment to select the contacts that he wants to interact with for the upcoming campaign. We're going to add a new segment. Of course, the marketing manager could also use an existing segment if desired. Type a description to name the segment. We'll select from a list of customers by adding our contacts. You can use a variety of criteria to select contacts or refine our targets. You can see more when I scroll down. For this segment, the campaign will include all of our existing customers. We'll select Customer and select OK. The customers selected based on the filters chosen are now imported into the lines. We're now ready for our next step. Next up in the campaign is to initiate the campaign and send out collateral to the customers who visited the booth at last month's trade show. We'll select Campaigns. With the campaign highlighted, select Active Sale Prices Line Discounts. We'll select Process and then the Activate Sales Price Line Discounts. Since we did not associate any special pricing, the system provides notification to ensure we still want to activate the campaign. In this scenario, we're only interested in tracking the follow-up from customers who attended a recent trade show, and no special or promo pricing has been applied. The campaign's now been activated. We'll open the segments on our target list and open segment SM00001, the visitors at our trade show last month. The campaign we created was designed as an email campaign and includes an ebook or an electronic book as an attachment. Once the campaign is active, the marketing manager can begin to log activities and interactions with the targeted segment. We'll click OK. Before initiating the email campaign, the marketing manager will preview the attachment before it's delivered to the target customers. This opens the PDF attachment. Our ebook is being sent to all the target customers. The marketing manager is now ready to hit the send button. The campaign's active and the emails have been sent. The marketing manager is also interested in tracking the success of the campaign. Key statistics such as emails delivered, the costs, the time, etc. are all tracked. Click on the active campaigns tile on the marketing manager's homepage. With the campaign highlighted, select statistics. We'll select Process and then the Statistics link. The Statistics page tracks key data points such as opportunities, number of targets, costs, etc. We'll now open the report on our campaign. Here's the updated details in process for the campaign. Full circle, we're now back at the marketing manager's homepage. The goal of this scenario is to demonstrate how the marketing manager would benefit 
from Microsoft Dynamics 365. The results show how we can reduce the number of clicks, limit errors, and ensure data accuracy while we track our campaign profitability. That wraps up the video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments, and if you need an immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website, abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and please follow our social media accounts that are in the description below.